And welcome to another episode of the technology show that has no title. My name is Jonathan. You might know me from my other channel, Adobe Easy Tips. How's that for an intro? Let's get the show started. So this video is going to be all about Adobe Creative Suite 6. Um, I do think it's an interesting move for Adobe to be transitioning to some different features and some different services, such as the Creative Cloud. Um, I won't be using it myself. Basically, if you're not familiar with the Creative Cloud, they're going to allow you to actually upload your materials to their servers. I can just imagine if you're working on an important project and one day like the server goes down and you have to call up the, like tech support and find out where your files are. Um, I just don't think it's a smart move. So I'm not going to be interested in using the Creative Cloud, but if you are, you can also get a subscription to all the software. So that's the flip side to all of this. You can pay, I think it's $49.99 per month and you'll have access to all the software that you want um, from Adobe. If you've used CS3, CS4, or CS5, you can upgrade and that costs you $29.99 for the first year. Uh, per month. As far as the software goes and changes, I have a few tutorials on my channel about the new Adobe Photoshop and some of the features they're offering, new interface and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be sure to post in the description a couple links to that so you guys can check that out. Other than that, um, I was impressed by Flash. Uh, there's a new export to HTML5, so that's important. Um, they were, um, in the presentation that Adobe gave about this, they were trying to explain like some innovations with Flash and how it is the premier, I guess, animation tool from them. I'm just, I'm not liking Flash on that level, only because they're not gonna upgrade the Flash player anymore, so, uh, for mobile browsers. And I'm just not interested in working with Flash um, in that um, environment. But, if you're not a Flash uh, fan, you can have HTML5 with Adobe Edge, and that is a great tool. I've been using that for a couple of months. We were also featured by Adobe Edge, and that is an awesome HTML5 editor. Um, you can do animations, you can you know develop your own web pages. It's a great, great um, editor and I highly recommend that if you haven't checked that out and that is included in the Creative Suite. Also in the keynote, somebody was presenting was it After Effects and they were trying to show this feature where say you had a wall, this is the example they gave, and somebody was standing in front of it in the video. You would be able to, I guess, place some text behind the person in the video. So you have one video, person standing in front of the wall, you put the text behind the person, um, and just like that, the person will always be in front of that text. Now, the person who was doing the presentation tried to do this, but the woman in the video, she had hair, so you can see like pieces of the wall behind her hair and the text, it was like kind of messed up. So I'm not sure if the feature is perfected or the person wasn't using it right. Besides that, what else? Premiere Pro. If you're a fan of editing video, this is a great and uh, awesome tool to use for editing video. I'm a big fan of Premiere Pro. But you know what they're doing is they're changing the layout and they're also making it a little bit more user friendly with the size of the screens. So they changed that up and you're going to have bigger preview windows in Premiere Pro. And they're also going to make it a lot more user friendly. And as they described it, focus on the media. And that's important because when you're working on a video project, that should be your focal point. Not all the crap that's on the left hand side, the panels and everything. It's really about what you're editing and your timeline and those kind of things. And then you should be able to adjust it at how you want. Other than that, I did notice that they're going with this whole different interface with the background. So you'll have a darker background. And if you're an After Effects and Premiere Pro fan where you have that darker background as your interface, you're going to be getting that with all the software from the creative suite. So that's my point of view. You guys tell me what you think. Do you think it's a great idea to upload your own work, copyrighted work, to a cloud server and have another company have access to it? I question this. I know Apple is a big fan of doing this. Google has been talking about this and now Adobe is doing it. Um, I'm just not into the idea. I don't like it. I like to have my own things on my own drives. I back up my own work and that's where it's going to stay. And that's how I feel comfortable with doing my work. But you guys tell me, will you share with others your work and have people give you feedback? Are you into the whole social networking aspect of it? Let me know in the comments below. And that is all. I will see you later. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't like this video, don't thumbs it down. Just leave. <laughs> don't forget, if you're not subscribed to this channel, click the subscribe button. And also check out my other channel where you'll get Adobe tutorials. Yes, some of the best Adobe tutorials on the internet. Says who? Says me. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.